Sure. Uh, obviously, we weren't happy being minus two in the first period there, and uh, you know, so we wanted to make up for that, and 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 we started to get pucks in deep and, and working them down low and using our big bodies, and I think that's why we were able to create those chances in the second period, and we kept doing the same thing in the, in in the third, and. Uh, you know, uh, Nate got open there uh, on my goal, and and he, uh, you know, showed a lot of patience waiting for me to get back in the play and get open there. And you know, when he puts it on my stick like that, it was an open net. It's an easy goal, so it was, uh, you know, a great play, play by him. You know, he was on tonight, and so it was uh, Crutch to uh, getting the puck to both of us. Can you speak to this three-game winning streak you guys are now find yourselves on? You know, having outscored the opposition 18 to five. Where, where you only scored five in three previous, well, three I, previous games. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we've been we like I said we've addressed a lot of the the problems and the mistakes that we were making, and a lot of it came from our neutral zone play and our defensive zone play, and and uh, you know and and just in our effort and our puck pursuit, puck pursuit to get it back and, and make make good decision with it is is been. Uh, been much better, and I think that's ultimately what's what's helped us get the 18 goals in the last uh, three games. And and uh, you know we're you know we're we're we're, we're starting to find the you know that level of play that we want to play at. And you know it wasn't hard, it wasn't easy to get to this point. We had to work really really hard to get out of that funk, and we're gonna have to work even harder to keep it going. Scary moment. Hey, we, yeah, a little uh, scary moment. Uh, you know. Uh, just looking at what happened there, the puck kind of jumped on Steos there, and uh, you know one of those times where it's good he had a face shield on, and uh, you know it's, uh, it's good to see him. You know we saw him here before he, he went for an X-ray there, and uh, good to see him uh, walking around and feeling fine after that. Hey, we? The uh, no, it hit him right on the dead right on, on the yeah. beak. Huh? Yes, yes, <laughs> it looks kind of like mine now. <laughs> Were you uh, Nathan? Thanks. Nathan was really candid last week talking about. How difficult he was finding it, coming back from the concussion—not not physically, but mentally, and just feeling comfortable. Were you guys aware of what he was going through, and, and if so, what would you say to him to try to help him to get out of that? Ah, uh, you know, he—he he was. It, it, it's 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 tough to to read him if he's if he's going through something tough because he's always got a smile on his face, yeah. so you don't really know. You know how he's really feeling deep yeah. down inside because he always looked like he's happy and he's yeah. doing well, but uh. You know, you could tell he 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 wasn't really himself. Uh, you know, as 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 he was last year. Just you know, there's always going to be that hesitation, no matter what. Even if you're feeling 100%, just to get yourself back in the groove of things. Just because you know, you know, it was it was a scary moment and a big hit. What happened to him? And uh, you know, it does take some time. And and uh, as you saw, you know, the first couple of games. It was kind of like he didn't have a stride and it was kind of hesitant to get in the corners and stuff like that, but it's definitely gotten a lot better, as you, as you can tell, the last couple of games. How much of it for him, too, is just going hard to the net, being there for those rebounds, getting rewarded for doing those kind of things? It seems like, obviously, some of the goals that he scored in the playoffs, that's exactly what he was doing, and that's what he was getting tonight, too. Yeah, uh, like you talk about the, those goals in the playoffs, he, like you said, he was just going hard to the net and, and getting in those scoring positions. We all know he's got that great, great wrist shot, snapshot. Uh, he can score from the perimeter but you know he's even more deadlier when he's in the in, you know in the in the traffic areas and in the you know in the, the real battle areas in the house there in front of the net and uh, perfect example on that second goal just him finding the puck there uh, on a rebound and also creating the screen you know he can be dangerous and and uh, you know he's got an act for the net he's you can tell it's you know he's a natural goal scorer and, and uh, you know hopefully not just him, all three of us can build from the last two games that we had. Are you going to tell Savvy to start uh, tweeting more? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Starts? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, someone, uh, uh, Eric Tosi told us about the tweets that he was uh, sending. He had, a, he had a feeling about us, so uh, <laughs> hopefully he has more of those feelings and he, and, he, and, he, and he tweets about it. So there wasn't any inside info where he was, uh, you know, no, no inside info. No, he just had that <laughs> feeling. I think he just uh, had it in himself back home. You gotta get on there and tweet back to him. You gotta get on. Twitter. I'm not on Twitter, so uh, <laughs> I'm. Uh, well, I'm not a social media guy. That's why. Stay away from that stuff. All right.